Hey, what's up guys? Justin here and welcome to 65 Drums. Today we're doing a first impressions video on a ton of different electronic drum products from the company Alternate Mode. 99% of electronic drum companies use switches and piezos to power all of their electronic drums. So like on a roll ensemble, you'll have a switch for the rim, you'll have a piezo that senses the velocity of everything, and then they'll have another switch for the bell. And then a snare on a rolling drum set will have a piezo for the head and a piezo for the rim. But of course, Alternate Mode is part of the 1% of companies that don't use either of those triggers. They use something completely different called FSR. FSR is a sensor that you have to directly hit in order for it to create a trigger. So this is great because you could have a sensor the size of a deck of cards and put that on an acoustic drum head. You could play your drum like normal, but whenever you hit that sensor directly, then it will trigger a clap sound or something. You'd be playing like an inch away from the sensor and it wouldn't even pick it up. It's really beautiful. Now the interesting thing is that uh, because you have to hit the sensor directly, that means the sensors are huge. If you have a 16 inch floor tom, the sensor has to be this large. It has to be the size of basically the pad that you're playing on, which means that they're gonna be harder to repair. If they break for some reason, you're not replacing something the size of a quarter, you're replacing a humongous trigger. The other downside of FSR technology is the fact that it's a very weak signal. You have to buy an extra box that boosts the signal. You have to have your pad and then some sort of box and then that box talks to the Roland drum module. So it's an extra step and that's gonna be a hidden cost to boost the signal between it and the Roland drum module. Alternate mode has three different solutions to overcome this. The first is called the Aquarian Inbox Trigger Signal Booster and it's $70. You'd have to buy one of them for every single drum that you have uh, an alternate mode pad attached to. And then the second thing is called the FTB. So this is the FSR Trigger Box. It's $250, but you can plug like all of your pads into it. It's the better of the two options. And that is actually made by alternate mode. The other one's made by Aquarian. And then the third option is called the DITI. This is $600. This is a really fancy version of the FTB. You can plug all your stuff into it and you can also plug in regular electronic drum pads that use piezos and switches. So it can handle all those different kinds of triggers and then it generates MIDI from that. So this is really cool if you don't even wanna have a drum module. You can plug this directly into your laptop. So you're bypassing the need of a drum module or you can just go from this to a drum module. You can do it either way. I don't like to talk about boring stuff right out the gate, but to be honest, I had to explain that or else the rest of the video wouldn't really make that much sense. Okay, so let's move ahead to the first product. This is the alternate mode hybrid head. Now this is really, really cool. I don't know of anyone else that does this. They basically have a drum trigger within the two plies of an acoustic drum head. This is not a mesh head, this is fully acoustic. And it's actually a nice sounding acoustic drum head. I believe it's made by Aquarian and it's exactly what you think it is. It's like a stealth drum trigger. Literally no one would know that you have any electronic components. All you have is a very, very thin ribbon cable going from this drum head to basically one of those trigger boxes and then going to a drum module. This is a really cool product. It's very sensitive and it's very accurate at the same time. If you don't want to have like a roll and trigger on the side of your rim or something like that, this could be something pretty interesting. It costs about 60 bucks for the 14 inch version, but remember it's gonna be more than that because you have to plug it into something to boost the signal. Okay, so moving ahead to product number two, we have the Aquarian Inhead. Now this is where my life gets kind of complicated because apparently Aquarian and alternate mode kind of works together to make a lot of the products on this list. But instead of just having everything under one banner, they kind of split it up. So there's a lot of products that end up looking similar, but they're under different names. So the Aquarian Inhead in this bundle right here from Sweetwater for $160, you get the snare drum head, you get the signal booster thing from Aquarian. You also get another zone for the rim shot 
and that is a separate trigger that you have to put on the shell of your drum. And then you also get the kick drum trigger. It's not an actual drum head, it's just a little trigger patch. I got to play a version that actually has two zones, one in the center and one near the edge. But aside from all that complexity, is this a good idea? I think it is, I really like it. And Aquarian makes good drum heads and they're the ones behind all this. Now, you will have less choice because if you wanna use one of these electronic drum heads, you won't be able to use your Remo drum heads or your Evans drum heads that you're used to. But if you don't care about that kind of thing and you just want something that isn't in the way, I'm glad it's out there as an option. I don't think it's for everybody, but I like it. Okay, so moving ahead to the third product, we have the hybrid pad from Alternate Mode. This is a really cool idea. Basically, if you wanna just play acoustic drums, but play electronic every once in a while, you could buy a set of these things. So what you do is you just put these on top of your acoustic drum heads. You don't have to remove anything. You don't have to clamp anything down. You just put these on top of your drum heads. You buy the sizes of your regular acoustic drums. You could also just put this on a snare stand. You could play these on top of you know, a kitchen table. You can literally use them anywhere. These have a very nice feel to them. It's basically the feel of like a Yamaha DTX silicone pad. It's not really rubber, it's not really mesh, it's its own unique thing. It feels like a really nice practice pad. If you buy a 14 inch version for a snare, it'd be $125. And remember, keep in mind, you're also gonna have to budget some extra money for one of those trigger boxes, or just buy one $250 box to power all the pads that you have. The biggest weakness of this thing is the fact that it doesn't have a raised rim. It really should have a raised rim so that you can have you know, rim click or at least rim shot. So it does have a big weakness there. If you wanna buy one of these, you're just gonna to have to understand that you won't have a rim. That's why it's not the product for me. But it's a cool idea. I wish it came with a system though, because uh, with N-Fused, they had like a full system where you bought the pads, they were boring rubber ones, but you bought the pads, you put them on your drums, they came with the symbols, they came with the module. This doesn't really come as part of a system. It's just one little component that you'll have to you know build a system around. But it's an interesting product and it's fun to play on. So I'm glad it exists. Okay, so moving ahead to product number four, we have the Aquarian on-head pad. I've played this one as well. It wasn't at the booth that I was at, but I gotta tell you, it's the exact same thing. There's literally no changes here. There was some differences between the hybrid head and the Aquarian in-head. You know, those different acoustic heads, like they were different colors, they had different zones and stuff. These are exactly the same thing. They're made out of the same playing material. They just have a different logo on them. But when you step back and take a look at the both of them, it's uh, really hard to recommend them, especially for a snare, because it doesn't have a raised rim. And I just can't really give that up, especially if I'm gonna play with this long term. If you're only gonna put them on your drums to play really quickly every once in a while, maybe you don't care. But that's the one thing that's my sticking point with using these pads to begin with. But I like the idea of it, and I'm glad it's out there at least as an option for people that do want it. Okay, so moving ahead to product number five, which is probably one of my favorite things that they actually make. This is the alternate mode alt zone. So this is a $50 FSR sticky trigger. What you do is you put this on top of an acoustic drum, and now whenever you wanna hear a clap sound, whenever you wanna hear an electronic snare sound, you just hit this tiny little thing like the size of a deck of cards, and only when you hit that thing will you hear the sound. But this is cool because you can just not hit the zone, and whenever you need that clap sound, whenever you need a certain electronic sound with your acoustic hybrid kit, then you just hit that little sensor. This is one of my favorite things and it's only 50 bucks. And they do recommend buying this little $5 pad to put underneath each of them. I feel like that should be included with the $50 price tag, but uh, it is an extra add-on. Apparently it helps with the trigger accuracy or longevity or something. Okay, so moving ahead to product number six, we have the Jam Cat. This is a $500 electronic hand percussion pad. kind of feels like a really, really thick mouse pad. That's literally what it feels like and when you look at the edge of it. It's a very nice electronic drum pad. It's not overly thick. It's got like a metal base to it, so it feels very, very sturdy. This doesn't generate any sounds of its own. You have to plug it into the DITI. 
and then the DITI into some other source that gives it the sounds. So you could plug this into a TD12, you could plug this into a TD30, whatever it is you wanna plug this into, or even your laptop. They had it plugged into some sort of box that they used to manufacture that had sounds inside of it, and it was really cool because you could like hit one zone and it would produce different sounds in like a sequence. It could play different notes. The more times you hit it, it would play a different note every single time. I tried to make it sound good, but some other dude walked up and he played this thing and it was amazing. Like he made it sound like a real instrument. It kind of just depends on the sounds that you hook up to it, uh, what it's capable of doing. I don't think it's for me. I don't really need this sort of thing. But for people that really love working with MIDI and doing stuff on the computer, this is a cool product. And the funny thing is when you're playing this, you understand why they set up all the trigger lines the way they did. So hitting different zones with your hands feels a little bit more natural than if they just had solid squares across this pad. It wouldn't really make any sense. Okay, so moving ahead to the next product, we have the Drumcat Hybrid for $500, just like the Jamcat. Try saying that 20 times fast. Jam cat, drum cat, jam cat, drum cat, jam cat. This is very, very similar to the jam cat, except the shape is different. So a rectangle and the lines are drawn to mimic a drum set. This actually reminds me a lot of the Yamaha DD75. The purpose of the pad is very similar to that as well. You can play it with sticks or hands, but because of the way everything's laid out, this is meant more for people that are intending to play it with sticks. While playing on this, I was using the E-Kick and the E-Hi-Hat, so I was basically playing a full drum set in a very, very small form factor. And just like the Jamcat, you will have to plug this into the DITI. And this doesn't use uh, quarter inch cables. I don't remember if I said that before, but basically it uses some sort of like composite cable that plugs from the pad into the DITI. There's a special input so that you can plug in the jam cat and the drum cat into this. So one of the things that I like about alternate mode is that not every single product they make is designed to sell 5 million units. They're made to serve very specific needs that some drummers have. Like not every single drummer out there is gonna need a drum trigger that's built into an acoustic drum head but I'm glad that it exists so that drummers that do need that sort of thing now have an option. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, click that subscribe and like button. I'll see you all in a few.